Make It Make Sense podcast, man. Before I get started, y'all, do me a favor. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification button so you can get notified when I upload. Very disturbing situation I ran across in Rochester, Minnesota, man. The guy on the screen right here, uh, by the name of Mohammed Bakari Shay, looks like it. I hope I well, I don't even hope I'm saying it right, cause he don't need no respect. Not for me, goddammit, but he was 20 years where well, he's 20 years old. And just recently, the public is outraged of his sentencing for the crimes that he committed. Mother's Day 2018, I guess Muhammad was left alone. I don't know who was there with him or what, but he was in the presence of a child, uh, the first victim. I'm assuming it's the four-year-old because the four-year-old said, well, the victim said, as he, uh, tried to violate her he offered her candy and money in exchange <sighs> very disturbing that's the reason i say it was the four-year-old because in a, a crazy demonic mind of heels I, I i i'm i'm allegedly thinking he think that was gonna keep you know the baby quiet from telling on his stupid ass but she said he said if she go through with the situation she can get some Paying them money. So time passed, okay? Time passed, and uh, I guess the little girl, you know, it, she said it happened a couple times. It wasn't until 2019 she reported it to her family and they reported it to the authorities. And that led to Mr. Muhammad punk ass getting charged with uh, sexually assaulting a minor. So he gets booked and get out on it, you know, however he got out and he's got the charge pending and along comes another victim. April 2020, another victim comes forward and says that her sexual crimes happened in 2019. Not looking good for Mr. Muhammad, right? I would think, but he pleaded in December 2022 to an Alfred plea. That is saying, I guess they said that you said that you're guilty, but you ain't guilty. I don't even know. I got the definition of the Alfred plea up on the screen for those who want to know. In my eyes, it's just like he just took a plea. That's all it looks to me. He took a plea and the judge sentenced him to 180 days incarceration y'all now okay we're gonna do the math it's 30 days in a month 30 30 30 what did it six months they gave Muhammad the child violator six months in jail and 30 years probation 200 hours of community service bullshit and not to mention after they didn't smack everybody in the face like a pimp back and forth back 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 they got one more haymaker for everybody man the the haymaker of the situation this motherfucker don't even have to register as a sex offender now i i, I i'm trying to make sense out this situation man uh i ain't never in my life so a person, you know, violate a child and don't have to register as a child, I mean, as a sex offender. Now, reading through the uh, story, it says that he got such a lenient sentence because the situation occurred. Both crimes happened when he was a minor, 15 and 16 years old. So that is why they saying his sentencing is like it is. Now, uh, when I was 15, 16, man, a nigga knew better and knew what and what not to do, man. He got plenty of sense, looked like it, because goddamn it, he offering something to try to keep it quiet. So he goddamn it came at those little girls, man, and violated them and 
fucked up them for life, allegedly, may hell. They can never forget it. And all this coward get is 180 days in jail. Not to mention they said he probably only end up spending 116 days. Now, the reason for that, I don't know. But they said he probably only end up spending 116 days. They'll be only like four months in jail. Now, uh, I've seen posts from the victim's family members and, you know, they had some choice words for Mr. Muhammad. Now, I don't know uh, if he's going to do the 116 or 180, but I just think that is the worst damn sentencing ever, man. Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, we we need some answers with y'all jewelry dis- diction, man. Not to mention, see, that's a, I would never move up there. The George Floyd shit, the uh, Castage shooting. Man, this man here violated children and getting off really scot-free. And it's, you know, it ain't even reported. It ain't even reported, you know what I'm saying? I have saw no news from Minnesota reporting that this nigga done only got this little bit ass time for his violations. It's dope boys. Niggas out there getting caught with, goddamn it. Man, uh, a half ounce of marijuana getting more time than that. In some uh, counties and in, in, uh, jurors, I mean, counties and uh, states. But this this situation right here, over here, it make it make sense. We we try to make sense out of the shit. This is one I cannot make sense out of. You know, I would never be able to make sense out of this. Lord, I, I, I'm... I thank the Lord that wasn't none of my family members because ain't no telling what the fuck I'd do. And that's just the real shit, man. You can violate them girls. Nigga, you should have told the judge you wanted to stay in there longer than that. They talking about he going to get some rehabilitation. He need his ass whooped. That's the only rehabilitation that motherfucker need is an ass whooping and locked away somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't fit to be out here in society. In my opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Like the video, subscribe to this channel.